Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'll be taking a look at Naco, which is a desktop matrix client which is meant to look modern and be styled more like modern messenger apps like Element, Telegram or Signal and less like the IRC clients of old but whilst keeping the desktop kind of look. I have been using it for a while so I will discuss the good things things I have found about it and some glitches I have experienced. So Naco is a open source app that allows you to chat using the open source matrix protocol. This means that you can chat on the app using pretty much any of your matrix instances you may use. Another note is that this application is built using Qt. So you may like that or you may not like that. And that is a matter of opinion. Naco has many features which are outlined on the project's GitHub and also on their GitLab instance. Some of these features are read receipts which are pretty helpful and make the experience feel more like popular messengers like Telegram, end-to-end -end encryption support which is good if you care about privacy, voice and video calls which can be very useful when you want to express yourself with more than text. Naco also has a dark mode so your eyes don't feel bad when you look at it. You can also see typing notifications which are useful when you are battling in a rage fueled debate about whether ramen noodles are healthy or not. Another feature supported is being able to mention people so you can ping people to death telling them how well healthy ramen noodles are. Naco also supports communities. So yeah, I wonder when they are going to integrate matrix spaces. That would be very cool, I think, because Element are already, uh, they are already integrating matrix spaces. So it'll be interesting to see that come, but currently we only have communities on Naco. With Naco, you can also get push notifications for when people mention you or message you, which is helpful when you want to know what is going on when you are doing other stuff on your computer. Naco also allows you to use Markdown so you can easily write stuff with titles and more. This is great if you enjoy writing in the Markdown syntax since it is supported on many platforms. Naco also has a touch screen mode and a privacy screen for perhaps if you don't want random onlookers seeing you debate about how healthy ramen noodles are and you can change how long it takes for the privacy screen to kick in. So you can change it so it might take 10 seconds or maybe even one second of you not interacting with the app to make it engage the privacy screen. Naco also has many features you would expect from a modern instant me messenger client, like being able to manage what rooms you are in and create rooms user registration, redacting messages, being able to send files and emojis and more. Naco has some bugs that can be pretty annoying, including UI glitches where it scrolls back up the page when you want it to go down. Sometimes this happens on regular chats, but I have mainly seen this happen in the settings page. So that's one thing to watch out for. Another glitch that sometimes happens is you sometimes might be scrolled halfway up the page of messages when you click on a different conversation, meaning the app has scrolled you halfway between the messages, meaning you've got to scroll all the way back down, even though you never scrolled up in the first place. And small UI glitches like that make your experience that little bit less enjoyable. However, I have not noticed any major problems which would make NACO unusable. 
Overall, I think Naco is a cool privacy focused matrix client, which is better than Element on certain things. If you are looking for a desktop experience for a matrix client and you want a qu quite well featured matrix client that has a lot of support for things, but you also want to keep your privacy and you don't want the bleeding edge features that element might provide such as element spaces currently then this is a great matrix client for you it has been great using it and hopefully it can add many great features in the future thanks for watching this video make sure to follow me if you enjoyed this post or subscribe to me if you're watching this on youtube I will be making more videos on LBRY, YouTube and other platforms in the future. I also made a post about NACO on LBRY so you can check that out. The link to that is in the description on all of the platforms that this is listed on. But until the next one, stay safe, stay happy and peace out.